This is the Mavic 3 wide angle and anamorphic lens set from Freewell. It comes with a wide angle lens that has a field of view of about 125 degrees. The anamorphic lens has a squeeze factor of 1.18 and it includes four ND filters, an ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND64, all for the price of $199. They also come with a lifetime warranty. They're advertised as being dust resistant, scratch resistant, and having an oil prevention coating to help with, you know, fingerprints when you touch them. The anamorphic lens is what really caught my eye in this set. I absolutely love the anamorphic look. The Mavic 3 has a 24 millimeter lens, but with a squeeze factor of 1.18 with this anamorphic lens, you're getting the width of a 20 millimeter lens while maintaining the height of a 24 millimeter lens and the same compression between the foreground and background. It's a very unique look that gives you that cinematic look that's a little bit more filmic. And of course, lens flares. We can't talk about anamorphic lenses without talking about lens flares, and this lens for sure has lens flares. Now, it's a preference thing on whether you like them or not, but if you want them, you can get them with this anamorphic lens. De-squeezing these clips and posts is super easy. I use Final Cut Pro, but I'm sure it's just as easy in any other editor. Now, you want to make sure your project is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is just, you know, your basic settings there in Final Cut Pro. And you, you want to go ahead and drag those clips onto your timeline, of course. And we want to go over to the inspector and we want to scale the X to 118 because our squeeze factor is 1.18. And once we do that, we can go ahead and do the total scale back down to 100. And that's going to keep the, at, the ratio between the X and Y exactly the same. And when we do that, we can see our Y needs to be 84.75. And we can just apply that to the rest of the clip. Super easy. Just follow the sc screen recording I just did for you. Now, a huge advantage of these lenses is the ease of putting them on the Mavic 3. It's as simple as twisting off the stock lens and twisting on the anamorphic lens. The same goes with the wide angle lens. This is so much easier than the moment anamorphic lens that I had for my Mavic 2. Now, I loved that lens. I actually liked it. I like the results of it a lot better than these, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but installing that and having to recalibrate the gimbal was much more of an in-depth process, and if you didn't get it right, whew, it could be trouble. I didn't think I'd like the wide-angle lens as much as I did, but having a wide-angle lens in your bag is fantastic. Of course, it allows you to get you know closer to objects for photos, but I mainly use these for video. And when you use it for video, it gives you a real sense of speed versus the standard lens. Even when you're flying at the same speed, it feels much faster as you fit more in the frame and you have more whipping by in the foreground. You get the same effect when you're doing an orbit shot. The parallax with the wide angle lens feels a bit faster because you have more of the background moving in the frame than you do with the standard lens. What's really great about this lens set is that it comes with four ND filters that fit on both lenses an ND8, an ND16, ND32, and ND64. Now this allows for keeping your shutter speed where it needs to be to keep your video looking more natural. And this is a huge advantage over the DJI wide angle lens that you can buy because there aren't any NDs that I know of that fit on that lens, which means you gotta crank your aperture and your shutter speed, especially if you're shooting in log. And it kind of just messes up the look of your video. Now that I've told you a little bit about this lens set and why I like it, let's keep this review honest and let me tell you about a few things I don't like about it. And I'll start with the anamorphic lens. The squeeze really isn't that much. It would have been nice if it was a 1.33 squeeze. And while it does still give you a bit of that cinematic look that we all love from anamorphic lenses, 1.18, it's just not enough. And lens flares. <laughs> I love lens flares. Like I really, really love lens flares. I can't get enough lens flares, but not so much from this lens. They're very, very prominent and they're blue, very blue. And there's just something about the flares from this anamorphic lens that I'm just not that fond of. And I mean, in my opinion, the blue, it's a bit of a drag because if you're going for that golden hour look like I did in these sunset clips, the flare looks it looks out of place and I don't want the lens flare to dictate the way I grade so that it fits in better. I, I don't want to have to grade to match the lens flare. I wish they could have been a little bit more natural looking like the moment one was for, for the Mavic 2 Pro. Those lens flares were beautiful and very, very just 
to me, more pleasing, more natural looking than these ones. Next, let me talk about the ND filters. These filters do introduce some green cast and it throws off your white balance quite a bit in my opinion, but it's easy to fix. You can just adjust your white balance while you're shooting or you can do it in post but it does throw you off a bit because you don't experience such a shift when using the stock ND filters that come with the Mavic 3. That brings me to the wide angle lens. While it has an advertised field of view of 125 degrees versus the 108 degrees on the DJI uh, wide angle lens, I really can't tell the difference. And actually I felt that the DJI one was a bit wider, especially when you adjust for the vignetting that the NDs cause on the free well fil filters. And that, that vignetting can be pretty drastic. And that's because even though you can get the, the ND filters on, on the lens super easy, they're a bit finicky and can actually like wiggle a little bit. And so they can be slightly tilted down, slightly tilted up, and it's hard to notice. So you got to get them seated completely flat or you're going to get a lot of vignetting on the wide angle lens with those ND filters. So that's my overall thoughts and experience with the Freewell Mavic 3 wide angle and anamorphic lenses. Overall, I actually think it's a fantastic buy at $199. You get an anamorphic lens, you get a wide angle lens, you get four ND filters that can fit on those lenses. The DJI like wide angle lens, it sells for 179 from them. Now you can find out on Amazon for 120, but again, you can't put NDs on those and you'll have to crank your shutter speed and your aperture if you're shooting in log. And so despite some of the drawbacks with the free well set, I actually think it's a fantastic buy and you can work with some of those drawbacks. Like you can work around them and, and make it work. With drone footage so saturated, this lens set can actually add a very unique look to your footage and help you stand out. So if you wanna pick them up, I'll link them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> oh,